Welcome to the Windows Club. If you wish to fix the Microsoft Store error 0x8013-1500 on Windows 10, then either read through this article on the Windows Club or simply watch this video. The first solution would be to run the Microsoft Store Apps Troubleshooter. Obviously, after checking the status of the internet connection, whether other websites are opening or not, Run the Microsoft Store Apps Troubleshooter. So click on the Start button. Select Settings. Scroll down to Update and Security. Go to the Troubleshoot tab. Click on Additional Troubleshooters. Go to the Windows Store Apps Troubleshooter which would be the last troubleshooter in the list and click on Run the Troubleshooter. The next solution would be to reset the Microsoft Store. So, Press the Windows key and the R button and type the command WS Reset in the field of the Run window. Hit Enter to reset the Microsoft Store. You'll get a screen like this. The next solution would be to check the date and time settings and that is very important. So, click on the Start button. Select Settings. Go to Time and Language. In the Date and Time tab, click on Sync Now. This will start synchronizing the clock. The next solution would be to change the DNS settings to a very generic DNS because that could be the reason that Microsoft Store is not connecting to the server. So press the Windows key and the R button to open the run window. Type the command ncpa.cpl and hit enter. This will take you to the network connections window. Right click on the active network connection to understand which one is active. Every other network connection will have a cross attached to it. So right click on the network connection window, go to properties, scroll down to internet protocol version 4, change the radio button from obtain DNS server address automatically to use the following DNS server address. Change it to 8.8.8.8 and the alternative one to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. This is basically Google's DNS so it will always work. The last solution would be to add a new user account to your computer and the point is that by the time you reach this solution the problem would already be resolved. But anyway, click on the start button, select settings. Go to the Accounts option, then on the list on the left hand side, click on Family and Other Users and add a family member. Basically, you're not adding a family member, you're adding another account to it. It doesn't matter even if it's your own name. Isn't this easy and interesting? If you have any doubts, please go to the original article on the Windows Club, scroll down to the comment section and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.